Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's car boot pickups video. I have done two car boot sales this morning. I've done Easter Compton and Trench Lane as usual on a Sunday. This lot is from Easter Compton. The Trench Lane lot is still in my trolley, so I'll get that out second. This is going to be a very much a rush job. Little Lexi has a piano recital today and I need to leave for that in no more than half an hour from now. So off we go. First up, I paid two pounds for the first, it was the end, but I paid two pounds for this pack of wool from my mother. Um, really not quite nice rainbow wool. Um, I didn't pay two pounds, that's a lie, I paid four pounds. Literally, we're seven seconds off the bat and I'm telling lies, four pounds for that, but I think it's worth a pound of all and I think she'll enjoy making something nice out of that. And then I also paid 20 pence each for a couple of books for her. She quite likes kind of nostalgia style books. So a couple of those for my mother as well. There was a guy who was still unpacking and was being absolutely rammed, raided by people going, what have we got, what have we got? And he put a little box on the floor and it said everything in here 50p. And nobody was paying attention to the little box, so I had a rummage. And I am very pleased with what I got in my 50p box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of these things was a pound. I think it... I'm not sure which thing it was, but he had a 50p box and a pound box and one of these things came out of the pound box. And I don't know which, it might have been this. So we're going to assume that all the rest were the 50p ones. I've got a piece of Bohemian glass. Josh um, told me how to look out for Bohemian glass. I've never sold it before. I don't sell glassware. I hate selling breakables. I must have lost my mind, but it was 50p. It is a little trinket or bonbon dish or dessert dish or dish. It's a, it's, a di it's a dish is what it is. Look at my dish. So that was 50p. I'm going to put that on the side. I feel like if I put that in the bag on the floor, it won't even make it to the end of the video. These were 50p each and these are Medina glass. So I have two of those. They were quite nice for 50p each. One is um, marked Medina. The other one is not, but Josh said it is Medina. So I trust Josh to know things because he knows about breakables and pottery and stuff like that. So again, not going to put them in the bag. You watch me knock them off the desk in a minute because I've been clever. I was very excited about this only to discover that Josh thinks it's not very exciting at all. It is an African tribal kind of stoneware and I thought it was an elephant when I picked it up but looking at it, it's definitely not, is it? It's a hippopotamus. It's a hippopotamus but it, for some reason it has elephants carved on the top of it. So yeah, why, why it's got elephants carved on it if it's not an elephant itself I do not know. The reason I was excited was because I thought it said on the bottom that it was originally £95. Josh reckons that was probably 95 of some other currency, possibly African Rand or something like that. But still, I liked him and maybe he'll maybe he'll get me a tenner for 50p, eh? And then he also told me what this is and I've immediately forgotten what he said. But I think this was a pound. So I bought this because I think it's bloody horrible. I think that's ugly. And as a general rule, the things that I think are ugly <laughs> tend to be worth money because apparently I have no taste. <laughs> And then also for 50p each, a little um, false stuff. I'm not sure if this spoon goes with this egg cup originally. Probably not, because the egg cup says mayo, the spoon says false stuff, so I think somebody's just bundled them together. But a nickel ESPN, ESPN um, hen egg cup with a spoon that doesn't go with. And then there is a, I think that's a partridge, isn't it? That's partridge and that's pepper. There was no salt, sadly. I did rummage to see the salt there. They were 50 pence each as well. Maybe there'll be a tenner, who knows? There was no filler bag today, or rather there was filler bag, but there was nothing in it I wanted. So I bought a few random other things instead. This is for Anthony. It is just muck off puncture repair kit. Um, it was 50p. Why wouldn't you, you know? He, he rides his bike a lot, so... From another lady, 50p, I bought some This Works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. I don't think it's been used. Maybe a tiny, teeny bit, but this stuff is expensive new, so I grabbed that 50p. And I paid a pound for four quite nice pens um, for me. I like a fat pen, I like a comfortable pen. I've been buying a lot of pens recently. I think I've got a bit of a pen fetish going on. This one doesn't work, so that's off to a flying star, but maybe it just needs a bit of warming up. No amount of warming up is doing anything. I'll fiddle with those later. I paid £1.50 for this Cath Kids backpack in the uh, racing cars design. 
it's quite clean really it's um quite clean inside as well i think it's had very little use but looking at that so one pound fifty for that maybe i can start putting some of this stuff in the bag now that i've got something padded in the bottom the lady wanted two pound for this harry potter complete set except when i started opening it to check the discs it is not a complete set there is one disc missing i think it is from no, not that one. Not that one either. No, not that one. Oh, time lucky. The one that's missing is the Philosopher's Stone. Well, I have plenty of spares for this set. So when she said, oh, there's a disc missing, I'll take £1.50. I said, OK, that's fine, because I know I've got a spare disc that I can pop in there. So £1.50 for the Harry Potter box set. A fiver for this little set. These are men and they're art deco style mugs i've got calypso and sunburst there and then with them i've got the teapot and the teapot is saddler so it's interesting that they're not actually a set even though they look they look like they go together and i will sell all three of these separately so um i don't know what i'll get I don't, I've, I've no idea, I might get a tenner on the teapot, I might get more, I've no idea. But I know I can get eight to ten each on the cups because I've sold those before. One pound for these Nicky Clark curlers. They are compact frizz control rollers, heated rollers. They are all there, I did open the box and check, they're all there. All the little pins are there as well, so that was quite good. Quid for those. £3 from Steve, even though I didn't do filler baggies, I still got some stuff off his table. £3 for these. I'm not going to pick them all up into... Oh, well, maybe I will. They are Port Marion Pomona. I've got three little jars. What have we got there? The Hoary Morning Apple. Quiet in the cheap seats. The Red Currant and... Oh, the Hoary Morning Apple again. He's, he's, he's popped up twice, the Hoary Soul. And then in the slightly larger size, this one is... Bigaroo Cherry, apparently. Never heard of it. And Grimwood's Royal George. So, £3 for those. £3 for the lot. And a pound for this, also from Steve. This is for Buddy. It says Home Dog on the back of it. It's loungewear. I mean, it doesn't need loungewear. But... And also, I've got to stop buying dog coats because it's getting out of hand. This I was pleased with because this literally took me back in time to like 1987, 1988. It is a stereo cassette radio. Now, this chap is there every week and he did say, any problems, bring it straight back. So it needs a bit of a dust up, but I know the radio part was working because he had the radio playing. And I said to him, is that for sale or is that just your um, your personal disco? And he said, no, no, it's for sale. And then I said, OK, well, I'll, uh, I'll take it off you and then you'll have to stand here and sign it. He says, OK, I've got another one, I'll put that one on instead. So I paid five pounds for this and I don't know, don't know if it was a good buy or not. I'm not actually sure what brand it is. It says SRR17 on the front. Oh, it's a boot. Remember when boots did things like this? I don't know if they still do, but I've got a lead with it. But I've also got, which you don't often get with these kind of things, the original carry strap. Because we used to carry these things around. You kids these days, you don't even have don't even have a personal stereo now, you just have the ear pods, don't you, and plug it into your phone. We had to carry things like this around, and this was compact. This is the compact version. Mm. We lugged these around with us. We sat in the field, drinking white lightning, <laughs> smoking Barkley Red, <laughs> and listening to Aha and to Pow and Depeche Mode, if you were Nick, um, on something like this. So there we go, that was... Um, that was a little blast from the past. I'm hoping the cassette part works. If it doesn't, he did say he'll take it back. So, fibre for that one. Every home needs a wicker submarine, don't they? We didn't have a wicker submarine, so I thought I'd get us one. It is a picnic basket. It's a wine carrying picnic basket. It's got straps in there for the bottles. There's a bottle opener there. There's a bit for the glasses. He wanted two quid for it. And I thought, Do you know what? That's different. That's weird. Somebody's going to want that. So we are the proud owners of a wicker submarine. <laughs> a little bit of me Beatles medley. We all live in a wicker submarine. And then today's best buy from Easter Compton is this. It is a bread bin. It is a Nigella Lawson bread bin. Can you see the little N on the bottom there? 
Nigella Lawson bread bin. It was two pounds, and these usually sell for somewhere between forty and sixty. Now. My lid has a little split. This is going to reduce my price on it a little bit. But apart from that, it's in very good condition with no chips. So fingers crossed that I get some decent money for that. I'm going to leave the wicker submarine and the bread bin there, get the other stuff out and then show you the stuff from the other car boot. OK, then from Trench Lane, today is mostly clothes. I don't tend to buy a lot of clothing at the car boot, so, but I felt a bit uninspired at Trench today. There wasn't a lot going on, mostly clothing. I did get a Starbucks candy cane handle coffee mug. I believe I paid 50p for this. It may have been a pound, but I believe it was 50... Sorry, the hiccups. I believe it was 50p. Two pound for a very nice sea salt skirt. It's not the kind of thing I would wear, but it is nice quality and somebody will like it. And it is called, because sea salt stuff always the name, it's called Photo Album. Of course it is. I don't know why it's called Photo Album. You could understand them calling this design Photo Album if it had pictures of little photographs on it, but it hasn't. It's got flowers on it, so you'll guess as good as mine. But that was two quid for that one. 50p for a Kill Switch Engage Tour t shirt from 2009. So it's the Kill Switch Engage Taste of Europe Tour 2009. It's quite small. Quite small. I don't know um, if it's going to be worth having or not but it was 50p so we went on that one we tried that don't know who we are there's only me don't know why i did that the this lady was asking two pound a pair for her shoes but she did two pairs for three pound these are clark's software they're a nice gray linen coated kind of i don't even know what you'd call that feel almost suede but you can see they've got linen coating but with a slight heel so that's a nice court shoe for a wedding outfit for example and then these ones are Anne Harvey. Same lady. Anne Harvey, slightly higher heel. In a, what can we call that? Plum? Purply plum? Purply plum. Another pair of shoes. I'll do that pile in a minute, actually. I paid £3 for this Phase 8 dress. Now, I don't even buy Phase 8 very often, but this gentleman was um, looking a bit despairing because people weren't buying anything. And I said, how much is this? He said, it was five. And I said, I'm sorry, that's too much for me. And he said, I would do three. And he looked so hopeful. I don't know if he'd sold anything at all because he looked so hopeful. It is a wrap dress, which is always nice. It is lovely quality. It was three pounds. <sighs> it is what it is. It'd be fine. I get 12, maybe 15, maybe a bit more. Who knows? But I didn't really want it. This is a Canadian Blue Mountain pottery frog. Now, the lady had a duck a swan and the frog and she wanted a pound each but the duck had been repaired and I didn't like the swan I don't know why so I gave a pound for this one there are some listed for 20 to 30 pounds but there are also some sold that have gone for less so I don't think he's going to make my millions for me but I quite like him and I paid a pound for this set of three tins which have flower fairies design on them so there are two more inside it was hell on legs to get the lid off so I'm not going to take it off and show you the other two just have to believe me Fifty p for a Kath Kidston kids bag. This was interesting. I said, "How much is this?" He said, "It's fifty p." I have lots of other bags. I said, "Yeah, just this one is fine." Thank you. Look at the other bags. Really, honestly, just this one would be fine. Thank you. Well, don't you want to look at the other bags? Well, no, I want to buy this bag. Thank you. Okay, well that was fifty p. Okay, I've only got a pound coin. Oh, okay. So he starts counting out, and, he's, and he's, I can see the handful of change he's got. And he's given me four ten p's, and then he's going, "I've got a two p. Will that do?" And I was like, "We've well, also got a ten p." He's like, well, I didn't know you were looking. And I was like, well, I, I just, I just, I would like to pay you the price you've asked me for and get the right change, if that's okay. So, 50p for that. <laughs> and then this little pile was a fiver. And in this little pile, there are another pair of Clark's shoes. They need a good polish. They're a bit dusty and, and dull, but, but they're in good condition. A little pack of bee tea towels. They're only from Georgia Asda, but they are for us because I liked them. And I know Natalie will like them. She likes a buzzy bee. And then a linear skirt. This is really nice. Linen skirt with embroidered design all over. Really like that one. That's lovely. And finally, last but by no means least, as I tend to say, Viv designed by Vivian Smith, made in York, England, 100% acetate vintage dress. 
100% acetate. Remember when we used to boast that we made things out of 100% acetate? Not even entirely sure what, what size it is. It looks quite small. Probably like a 10 maybe, maybe a 12. But yeah, vintage dress. That is the haul and all of the haul. I'm really quite pleased with my 50p Medina glass. I'm very pleased with my bread bin. The clothes are okay. Pleased with the sea salt skirt. It's been okay. It's, there's not been nothing this morning to rock my world, but it's been okay. And that's it for this week. So thank you for watching. As always, if you have spotted anything in this video that has made your heart race, then there will be an email address in the comments box below. Feel free to email me on that if you would like to buy anything. This may not hit eBay for a while, though I am catching up with my death pile. So things are not as bad as they used to be. I'm catching up with it. And uh, yeah, with all that said, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.